Hi, I'm here with uh, Morgan. Hi. Um, she's in my class with Carmen. Um, we just finished watching Janelle Monae's new video, uh, Queens. Queen. 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 Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna ask Morgan questions. So, what did you think the message of the video was? Um. Well, I think it's definitely about self-love, and I think there's this whole judgment thing going on, too, with, like, who has the right to judge you besides you. Like, she's talking about other people watching her. She's talking about God and being able to get into heaven, and so, like, being able to just, like, be yourself and be on the dance floor um, and not having people thinking about what does this mean about her morality, what does this mean about her identity, but just being able to kind of like bust out and do that. And that's apparently for her a weapon, I think, which I think is really cool. Oh, like yeah. that they were talking I mean. about that in the video, like to be, to not like take other people's judgment into account is like a huge, like flip off to society because you don't care what they think. Yeah, I agree. I think that, that that's that's really impactful as far as like we talk about black women's rhetoric and um, black women and how the way they use their bodies and the way that they live their rhetoric. So maybe, you know, it's like a message, you know, we think about her audiences, whoever's watching the video yeah. really, um, her audience is she's saying, you know, yeah. if you and can, it's being if you can featured on YouTube right now. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, like wow, if you just log on to YouTube, it's, it's like, like up all over. Wow. So So that's a big audience yeah. that she's talking to, like yeah. saying, you know, use your body how you want to use it yeah. and then bump the rest. You right. don't really have to worry about, you know, other people's conceptions. For real. Mm. Let's talk about some of the visual stuff because oh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the video are um, like I noticed that it's kind of futuristic like the introduction you know it seems really futuristic mm -hmm. um, so maybe like she's trying to say or maybe she's you know saying things about like right now and our future you know like there's things that are, um, like right now you know people are judging right now but in the future is that going to be the same kind yeah. of thing um, yeah and it's definitely I think it's interesting because it's a museum so it's like you're looking back on this moment so what does that, like, from somebody who's going to look back on this moment mm -hmm. of Janelle Monet putting out this performance, like, what are they supposed to be thinking? Like, where does she think we're going to be? Is it going to be worse? Is it going to be better? And, like, how, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't no, know, like, that's what the answer question. to that is. Gotta but, like, who, who is museum, looking yeah. back on this and... Yeah, and, and what are they? I mean, the two girls in the video like do the hostile takeover thing, so I think that's kind of I don't know what that's indicating, but I think it's really interesting because I don't know. I think you're right. When I think about it, like videos and music are art. They are artifacts. Right. And so, like the fact that the video is taking place in a museum makes the video an artifact, and mm -hmm. then like the song is an artifact, mm -hmm. and those and it's are things that we actually look back yeah. on, and like what kind of older, newer societies like in the future will build on yeah. those things. Yeah, and then the cool thing is like it's a living museum. It's not yeah, like yeah, our yeah. weird wax museum. It's <laughs> like it's a living museum yeah. that that you are like in the moment with them, and so like. I, I mean, and that's, I think, totally true of music in general, that you're, like, supposed to be in the moment. It's not supposed to be, like, you're looking back, analyzing it. Yeah, yeah, But, no, like, true. you're reliving that moment every single time you listen. That's true. Uh, actually, thinking about that, and one of the conversations <coughs> that we actually had in class is, like, is music is, like, a living museum, and that's when you're in the moment. We had the discussion that, you know, some of hip-hop now is just a really, I guess that would be a really bad moment as far right. as, like, misogynistic, like, oh, completely. terms and, like, all kinds of things. So, like, that's the moment that we're kind of living yeah. in. She's, like, taking us through a futuristic moment where, you know, it's not really about any of that. It's just yeah. about, like, using your body to break loose. Right. And, like, literally just have fun because the video, look, they look like they were yeah. just having fun the whole time. No, so. they are. And it's not, like, what I like about her videos and how she dances in her videos is it's all about the fun. It's not about, like, the sexual act yeah, of dancing. It's not, it's not, like, trying to impress people. Like, even the girl, like, she has a bunch of girls in her videos. And then there was guys, too, but they're all, like, pretty well dressed and they're just kind of like grooving out right and so they're not like worried like and the the huge thing is like the girls aren't worried about like where the guys are yeah and that, like they're showing the guys how to dance yeah 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 like, there's that there's that that's funny i mean yeah yeah 
Um, also, as far as like the music goes, there's like a huge oh, lens of like you yeah. know, of like jazz stuff going on. I heard like a, a some kind of you know saxophone like solo. Yeah. And, like there's like hip hop stuff. There's a yeah. There's an awesome no, and piece, it like you know? progresses too. It does. Like yeah. it's. I don't know. I like that it's not like your typical, like here's a verse, here is the refrain, here's a verse, here's the refrain, here's my feature, and then I'm gonna do refrain, refrain, refrain. Right, right. It's like she totally like mixes it's up. A, the yeah, the songs it's like there's it's like, like three different songs, which I think is cool, and I like her transitions like when Erica Badu comes in like that part's so tight where she's yeah. just like it's it goes like way way down like and you're just like chilling out and it's all you can barely hear her voice yeah I think that's representative of Erica Badu's like maybe yeah. style like she's yeah. like you know Erica bring that own style into it because yeah. Erica Badu's definitely all about you know the <coughs> R&B-ish vibe um, she gets that actually from blues and um, right. some of the things we talked about as far as blues women and what they represent right um Everybody kind of channels a lot of that so. for real. And then I love her, her switch, like her the really abrupt switch into the rap at the end, where she's part. like, people people are understanding what I'm saying. Like, so at some point she has to like slap you across the face with yeah. what she's saying. Oh wow! Like that's, that's, she's reckoning. She's she reckoning is reckoning. Rap. Yeah, <laughs> she's just like yeah. this. She and she knows it's not like oh, I'm hoping they'll understand she's like I know you don't get what I'm saying yeah yeah which is going back to like the the museum thing is like do we not get what she's saying now like are we going to get what she's saying in the future like she's across the face yeah like are you gonna get what she's saying (laughs) (laughs) you feel that sting like all right well thank you Morgan no thank you this is awesome